This is a car that nobody talks about, but this is an absolute performer. It's made by Corsa C and it's called the Demon. Stay tuned! So guys, in today's video we've got a demon on the table and this demon is made by Cross RC and this might be the best crawler that money can buy. So Cross RC is an A brand but the price is more like a B price. So let me get everything out of the box so I can show you what's inside there. Inside the box you will find an awesome looking car. We've got a transmitter, some instructions, a sticker, some tools, a binding plug and we've got two spare drive shafts. So let's have a closer look at the transmitter first. The transmitter runs on four double A's which you need to supply your own. So it is capable of running steering and the build quality is just sublime. So this transmitter is very very sturdy and I am very pleased with it. So we've got a foam wheel on top of here. We've got on off switch, we've got the steering dual weight, the steering trim, the throttle trim and we've got some reverse buttons right over there. And that's all to say about about it but now let's have a closer look at the car and here is the car guys what do you think of it well appearance wise i really do like this car so this car is made to perform and this car isn't made to be very handsome but still i really like the appearance of this car so in the front of the car you will find a very nice looking front grille with some wire meshing behind there and we even got some leds behind those lenses which is always a good thing so the front bumper is made of plastic and that's all fine for me so on this car you won't find a lot of trim we only have got some mirrors and that's all to it and that's because this car has got a low weight profile and therefore it should perform very nice so at the rear of the car there are no tail lights there are no indicators and this is just a simple plastic bumper and that's all fine for me but let me take the body off and show you what's under there Underneath the body you will find the reason why this is a performer setup. Just look at it man, we don't have got any extras on this car to make it more heavy. So this is all built to perform. And just look at the setup guys. So the battery is mounted in the center of the car and it's pretty low in the chassis. And therefore the center of gravity is very very low. Which is always a good thing. And just look at the motor position. So the motor position is almost all in the front of the car. Only in front of the motor you'll find the 60 amp ESC sitting right over there. So this is your separate receiver and the motor is at 35 turns. And this is just a standard one from Cross RC and these are actually pretty good. So we've got a T-plug sitting right over there and the servo is, mind, is mounted on the axle. So we've got an axle mounted servo and that always helps with the performance if you're looking for a performance car. So when we look underneath the car you will find a four link setup in the front and in the rear and all of the links are made from metal and they feel very very sturdy. So the axles are just simple straight axles and that's all fine you know. So we've got lock diffs inside there, we've got ball wire inside there and we've got metal gears inside there so the sessie rails are also made of metal and this plate is also made of metal and the linkages where they are mounted to so just look over here this piece is also made of metal just look at the simple clean setup this is just made to perform so let me throw in some batteries and show you when it's on The car is powered on and let me first show you the steering servo. So the steering servo is a bit slow in my opinion, but we have got plenty of power. So just look at the steering angle. That looks pretty decent in my opinion. And this is the slope modulation. So we, yeah, that's okay. So this is not a pro setup in front of there, but you can easily upgrade this one because everything is easily accessible. So if you want to have other electronics, that's an easy job to do. But you know, st straight out the box and being around 250 bucks, I think that this is a pretty decent setup. So uh, one thing I forgot to mention are the tires. So the tires, the compound is very, very nice and very grippy. Only the foams inside there, they could have been a little bit softer in my opinion, but it is what it is. So let me throw on the body and show you the headlights. And here are the headlights guys, what do you think of it? Well I think that this car really looks awesome. So one thing I really don't like about this car, you cannot access the on off switch without removing the body, so mate, that's a big downside in my opinion. But for now, let's take it outside for a spin and let's see how this car performs. So guys, run the test course and this is the first obstacle that we're going to do. So I've got some high expectations for this car, so let's go and see how this car performs. So until now the throttle feels very very smooth. And yeah, I really like this car so far. So the first obstacle has been cleared, so let's go to the next one. The next obstacle has got some balls here in the beginning and the second part is this very steep bridge. So let's see if the Corsa RC is able to get up here. So here we go. 
So one thing what I really do like about this car, it is very, very quiet. And there's almost no motor winding because I hate the motor winding. But this car so far, I really like it. So let's see if we can get up this steep ridge. And as you can see, without any problem. So let's go to the next one. This next obstacle is very tricky because we've got some very big boulders right over here. And you should have got some very good techniques to get over here. Otherwise you will scrape the body or the chassis over the boulders and it will just be stuck on there. So let's see if the Quartz RC is capable enough to clear this obstacle. As you can see it's at a dangerous angle so far. But let's yeah, try to yeah, recover it. So here we go. So this is the first part. And it's struggling a little bit. Even with the straight axles, we've got ground clearance enough. So, oh, it's slipping, it's slipping. Can we go there? Yes, here it is. So let's do the other one. Now let's see if we can clear the second part of this obstacle. As you can see, we've got some dangerous angles going on there. And we have to find the right angle, otherwise you will tip it over. Because we are, yeah, in a curve with some big boulders, as you can see. But I think that this car is capable enough to clear this one as well. And like I mentioned, so we are here already. So let's go to the next obstacle. And here we have another very tricky incline. So let's see if the Quartz RC is capable enough to get up here. I think it can, so let's see. So this is the more difficult part. We've got a very big ditch over there. You can see one wheels in the air. So let's see if we can recover this one a little bit backwards. Maybe a slightly different line. Oh, no, we are going to tip it over. Let's try that one more time. Yes, here it goes. Oh, it's stuck. Yes, this car is really amazing. I didn't expect it to clear this one. Now let's test the drag brake of this car. So this is a pretty steep incline. So let's see what happens if we just let it roll a little bit. So here we go. Throttle off, so nothing in the controls kind of currently. So the drag brake is a bit too firm, but oh, here it goes, here it goes. No, it's a bit too firm, but you know, this car is pretty lightweight. So, and with the standard ESC, you know, this is just fine. So you still have got a lot of control as you can see. Yeah, that's all fine. So let's go to the last obstacle. This is the last obstacle I want to do and this is a very sharp turn as you can see and it's roughly a meter above ground. So if you are not careful enough, you know, you will drop this car and of course you will break some things. So let's see if this car is able to yeah, make this turn in one go. So it should have got a very good steering angle, otherwise you cannot do this one. So a little bit straight forward now and then Sharp turn, no, I have to back up. So the steering angle isn't the best on the market, but still, this car is pretty decent. And one thing what I really do like about this car is how quiet it is. You can't even hear it run, and I really, really like that. So the steering angle is okay, so it's not the best on the market, but yeah, we have to back up a couple of times. But still, it's doing a pretty good job, and I really like this car. So for now, I will just give it some more tests, and then I will come back to you with my final thoughts. So guys, that was the driving with the Cross RC Demon. And what do I think of this car? Well, I think that this car is a real winner. And especially for the price point. So you will pay around 250 bucks for this car. So we'll put the link down below so you can check it out for yourself. And you will get a very high performing car. This car really surprised me and I am very pleased with this car. So one thing, I broke the front bumper. So when driving it around, I just bumped it into a very big boulder. And the front bumper just snapped on me. So yeah, that's a big downside. But you know it is what it is another thing is the modulation just look at this guy so the modulation is just so smooth and the drive line is just so quiet just yeah this is full throttle do you hear how smooth that is? Well, I think that's just amazing. So electronics wise, this combination is just very, very nice. And yeah, I don't have got any yeah, complaints about this car. So one thing what I really don't like is the on-off switch. So you cannot reach the on-off switch when the body is on there. But you know, this is just a simple one and perhaps you can just mount it somewhere around there and then you can. But overall, this car, I really like it. So yeah, it performed pretty well. The electronics is all fine. The transmitter is one of the most sturdiest that I have had 
in my hands for a long while, for a long time. So overall, this package, I really like it. All right, guys, that was it for today. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. If you've got any questions or suggestions, leave a comment below. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.